I'm Tom. In charge of security and safety. <laughs> I'm Carrie and I'm in charge of makeup and costumes. Hi, I'm Todd and I'm in charge of the building of the place and making it scary. I'm Shauna and I'm in charge of design. And I'm Seth and I'm in charge of marketing. And we are... A Good Fright! Okay, so we need to come up with a, a theme, right? Oh, we did. The theme is going to be um, a hoarder. The hoarder of the house. She's a hoarder. She collects things. She also collects people. Dead people? People. It could be dead people. It could be scary things, whatever. Could She's a diapers. hoarder. And men in diapers. Ew. Well, you got, you got, the you got the, the, uh, the, the, the son of the old lady who never grew up. Yes. <laughs> are we, are we, are we cool with that? Design, in charge of design? Oh, design absolutely. Plan? I can do a lot with that. Can absolutely. you guys design my diaper? Because every, every room's going to have a total different feel to it, a total different scare to it. You know, That's it, it, it's going to be great. That's what gives us the, uh, the thing what I originally wanted. A haunted house right I mean, you're just a, but it gives you the ability to do a mismatch of everything because she collects everything you know the only problem I see with that and not that it's going to be a problem is that we're going to need a lot of stuff just everything and anything and everything because it's got to look like it's been it's, it's a hoarder well, a lot of stuff we can paint the walls if you have a little bit of light you can make it look like there's stuff in there you know we don't have to always have the tons of stuff well but you know, free. Tom's garage. Because, Duh. Because the worst part is, the hard part is, is you have a lot of stuff, but it's still, since I'm in charge of construction, it's got to be safe. So it's running through. It's got to be stuff where they don't get hurt, and still they can knock it over. You know. And that's where Tom comes in for safety. No running. Don't run on the pool deck. If you remember one of the houses, the hundred houses that we went to, that uh, we can say the, the she's a hoarder, but she's very picky about things that are in her house. Nothing gets moved. She knows where everything is at. You know, I don't have to touch nothing. So you have somebody in a house that tells us going through a scene where all this stuff, now don't touch nothing. You know, the lady of the house, she's a hoarder. She knows where everything is at, you know, and all boobs and everything. <laughs> all boobs. I'm like, where did that come from? Right there. <laughs> Todd. <laughs> all right, so we got our theme. And. Mm. We don't have much of a schedule yet, though. What is it? It's August 1st. August 1st. I don't know how many days that is left, but... Well, by the time I get the vlog together and on, it'll be August 1st. Okay, so this is like time travel, because what I'm telling you right now is going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so uh, <coughs> Halloween is on a uh, Friday. Friday. <laughs> doing the math. I'm like it's August first. Exactly. But you know it's like three months it's less like than three Friday, months to get this together. Almost like a thirteenth. No. Thirty yeah. first backwards. Yeah. It's like oh wow! Is Look at Nick. you. It's all... Now in the past, we're back by the way, and you know that's important because people that have been following us uh, know that we used to do this right here. Actually, we're standing in our old haunted house. Um, I have grass again. It only took two years. But uh, we did it. Um, we've had a three year rest right Sabbatical? two uh, two years two year rest. this would have been the third this year. would have been the third um it started out with just the three of us Get out of the way. Not <laughs> just the three of us we had a uh, small house right on the side here just a mosh posh we did it one night had a good turnout the second night we had it in the entire side <laughs> we had an entire side of the of the yard here, and then second we had a graveyard. Yeah. That was the second. Did second I say night? Yes. Second, second year. Now the third year, we actually themed it. We had it bigger than the house itself, and it took up this entire backyard, completely uncovered. It was a carnival theme. Now the following year, the city actually approached us to do the haunted house at the Civic Center. But because we did such a great job, <laughs> not because we weren't allowed to do it here. But we did such a great job, they actually approached us and wanted us to do it at the Civic Center. Yep. And uh, we met with the fire marshal, we met with the city, and, and after trying to get, finally got approval 30 days, oh, I guess it was November, October 1st, they gave us approval, and we said no because it was not enough time. So we were going to do it the following year, which would have been last year. Last year. Um, but, but the Boys and Girls? No, it's the it? Port St. Lucie Athletic, Athletic Club moved Club. theirs yes. to where we were going to have it, so we got bumped. So. 
this year we're ready to do it again. We're going to do it in a new location, um, actually my house. And uh, uh, we, we, you just heard the theme, so you know what kind of theme we're doing. And we've got to figure out, since Halloween is on, on a Friday, we've got to figure out what days, I mean, this can obviously change. We have three months, but what days we need to, we want to have it on. Well, we usually do it a couple days leading up to Halloween. So, so you want to do it in the middle of the week? Sure. Is this a private that. communication? Well, we're Hi, Mom. A, a You're blog. part of the vlog. <laughs> is she the hoarder? Can you let it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she could be the hoarder. <laughs> um, Wednesday, Friday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Saturday. Saturday be the last day. Well, think? Saturday is after Halloween. Yeah. we got to start putting up Christmas. Yeah, Christmas time. What if we did Monday through Friday? Well, we usually do three days. If we do Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Friday those three days or we could, we could do, do the weekend before we could do like a friday and saturday we could night. do a saturday before and a friday maybe thursday and friday because we probably have our halloween party the on the friday it's going to be before. the friday that's our first the problem is if you're going a solid week and you're talking all this time we just lost a week of construction yeah, we lost a week of construction plus if we're going to do it that weekend you know we're going to have it all set it up it's going to rain between that weekend gotta be all the way so the a lot of us get wasted. It's got to be up the weekend before. The night of our of our party is our dry run night. Right. Which okay, is that's, the, no. that's the Friday that would before. That be Friday before. Thursday. No. The Friday before Halloween. It's okay. always a week before. A week before is our Halloween party. We have to have it completely up and that's our dry run. I say so we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then we're we're going to do it Sunday. Skip Monday and Tuesday. Let's just skip Monday and Tuesday so we can I think repair, that's too many nights. repair it, re get it, get it ready, and then go Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you're thinking five nights kids plus the preview weekend. I honestly yeah, don't think it's going to be that big. I don't think we, I think all the people we need to get through we can get through in three, three nights. nights. Exactly. So Saturday night before. Saturday night before Thursday, Thursday and Friday. Friday night. The hard part is is that. You know, we don't have to make this decision first now. First, we had it three years in a row. That's why the, the, when we finally had it, it was so big. So many, everybody knew about it. We had it three nights yeah. that night. That was so the hot, hard part now is now that's a new location. I think with of, with may not Seth's be a lot of marketing, I think with Seth's marketing, we're definitely going to get a turnout. I mean, just marketing and the word of mouth and the followers that we do have, I think we will have a nice turnout. Um, definitely doing it. You know where we have our drive one with our friends and our family people who are involved our baseball team involved in the scares and the party on friday night doing saturday night and then depending on how saturday night goes we may need to add wednesday thursday and friday yeah that's a possibility we need to uh just know when it's definite that the first night for the public is going to be the saturday before, right yeah let's, let's plan on so that. that's that's the that's the dead date that's everything has to be done really by the friday before because that would be our party but right. we've done our party without it being completed before so if we set saturday um <clears throat> before halloween is our final day we have to have everything constructed by then we can set everything from that date when it comes to and then you have all day saturday if we find friday night there's things that we need to fix or do a little bit better we have saturday to all day saturday to to do that to get it completely ready and then, <laughs> and, then uh, and then we have to uh we have to i'll set i'll try to set the schedule for what we're Got to plan on because we have to get volunteer meetings going. We got to get volunteer forms together because we need people volunteering to to build it, not only act in it. We need to start well, collecting. Down. So are you, you going to be in charge together. of then of getting the volunteers together since you're in charge of the marketing? Yeah, I would say marketing and, and computer computer work. Hey, get a mosquito. It's all right. I wanted it there. So um. Well, you know, so anybody who knows. Decide how big we're going to make it. So how many rooms? Is well, we need to set up. That's the that's the number one plan is set up. We need to go over to the location and we need to, you know, spray paint the grass. Whatever we need to do, we need to mark <laughs> off where we're going to have everything. Because I think we've got our, our our theme set. We've got the night set, so we need to set that and we need to figure out how many actors we need realistically. We need to well, start. That's, that, that's right. Exactly. How many actors and then but how many outside volunteers? But that's after we we got to come up with the, the floor plan. When you once you do the floor plan, figure out what we're doing. Oh, that's what I mean. The first right. thing is to do is the floor yeah. plan. All right, so 
What'd you say? Say it louder so the camera can hear you. Should be able to find a toilet on the side of the road, no problem. <laughs> See where her head's at, huh? <laughs> and I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Alright, so uh, follow us, like us, post in comments, any questions, concerns, suggestions. Contact us if you want to volunteer. Oh yeah, we are in um, Port St. Lucie, Florida, East Coast, 30 minutes north, 35 minutes north of West Palm Beach. Um, definitely if you have the ability to donate, uh, whether it's old clothing, old carpet, uh, carpet old screws, carpet. old furniture. Um, yeah. All right, so follow us, like us, comment, share, post, spread the word. And what, what, Tom? And be safe! <laughs> <laughs>